On today's health segment, we look at how stress can lead to inflammation and other issues in your brain. Here's Gina Marie, who brings us Strong Mind and Body. Stress is a common part of daily life, and it comes in a variety of different forms and happens almost every day. We have to juggle so much family, work, school commitments, health, money, and relationships. You've probably heard about how bad stress is for your mind and body, but you might not realize how serious of an impact stress can have on the brain. Research has found that stress can produce a wide range of negative effects. They range from contributing to mental illness to shrinking the volume of the brain. Stress depletes your precious brain chemicals like serotonin and dopamine. This causes depression and anxiety. Serotonin is the happy brain chemical that also plays a role in mood, learning, appetite and sleep. Low dopamine causes a lack of zest, enthusiasm and motivation for life. Stress halts the production of new brain cells. This explains why when we are stressed, we don't think clearly or act in our best interests. Memory problems and a lack of concentration are the hallmarks of chronic stress. Research clearly shows that chronic stress causes electrical signals in the brain to be delayed. This leaves us wondering why when we put the dishes away, we sometimes put them in the wrong place. Stress can also make your brain small and lead to a toxic waste site in the brain. Every cell in our body is sensitive to toxins, but the brain is on the top of the list when it comes to sensitivity. We have a brain filter that normally keeps us safe, but when it's compromised with stress, it can become leaky. It lets in pathogens, poisons, heavy metals, chemicals and other toxins. There are special cells in the brain that protect the brain from infection and toxins. Essentially, they are part of the brain's immune system. Unfortunately, with relentless stress, these cells overreact, causing inflammation. This inflammation seems to have a role in all areas of disease in the body and can lead to depression. So with that said, keep your health and well-being in check and look into ways to reduce your overall stress.